and today they say that Islam is the religion which was spread by the sword. A very good reply is given by Delesi O'Leary in his book Islam at the Crossroad on page number 8. It says that history makes it clear that the legend of fanatical Muslims sweeping across the world forcing Islam at the point of the sword over conquered races is the most fantastic myth that historians have ever repeated. Delesi O'Leary is a very famous historian. He says that history makes it clear that the legend of fanatical Muslims forcing Islam at the point of the sword over conquered races is the most fantastic myth that historians have ever repeated. We Muslims, history tells us, ruled Spain for about 800 years. We didn't do our job. We didn't do dawah. Later on, the crusaders came. We wiped out. There was not a single Muslim who could openly give the azan. We Muslims, we have ruled the Arab lands for the past 1400 years. For a few years, the British has came. For the few years, the French came. But we Muslims have been the lord of the Arab land for the past 1400 years. Yet today, statistics tell us there are 14 million Arabs who are Coptic Christians. Coptic Christian means Christians since generations. If we wanted, we could have converted every Arab into Islam by the point of the sword. We didn't do it. These 14 million Coptic Christians in Arab land, they are bearing witness, they are giving Shahada that Islam was not spread by the sword. We Muslims, we ruled India for about a thousand years. Today, more than 80% of the Indians, they are non-Muslim. If we wanted, we could have converted every Indian at the point of the sword. We didn't do it. Islam does not give us permission. These 80% non-Muslim Indians, they are giving Shahada. They are bearing witness that Islam was inspired by the sword. Which Muslim army went to the east coast of Africa? Which Muslim army went to Indonesia, which has the largest population of Muslims? Which Muslim army went to Malaysia, which has more than 50% Muslim? Which army? Which sword? It is the sword of the intellect. 